People are brushing entries in the ninja world, and they get a thunder book at the beginning. Chapter 46. Three hours later. Uchiha Leunian glanced at the drunk Orochimaru. And shook his head. And left the tent without looking back. Regardless of whether Orochimaru was really drunk or pretending to be drunk. Now. His great power has been established. And many things are no longer so important. For example. Before the system was awakened. If he had been stuck in the physical skill elite Jonan. He would use some familiar plots to find ways to become stronger. And if he did not work for himself, he would be punished by heaven and earth. Even if he was a little blackened, he would cooperate with Orochimaru, the Akatsuki organization, and other ninja villages. Now that the system has been awakened, he doesn't need to care about any plots or blacken himself. He just needs to do what he likes and do whatever he wants. It is really a wise decision to take the initiative to apply for reinforcements to the Kikyo Mountain battlefield this time. Uchiha Leunian murmured in his heart, and couldn't help but smile, and then walked out leisurely, intending to take a stroll. At this time, the celebration banquet was almost over. Except for a few Konoha Shinobi who were still on guard, most of the Konoha Shinobi ninjas were drunk and lying on the ground. Judging from the smiles on their cheeks, they were obviously very happy. After seeing Uchiha Leunian, the Konoha Shinobi who were on guard all showed respectful expressions. Just when they were about to speak, Uchiha Leunian waved his hand to signal them. Seeing this scene, the Konoha Shinobi who were on guard understood it immediately and entered a state of guard. Slow down. Be careful, be careful, don't disturb others. Eat some leftovers, and then we'll go back to the tent to rest. Suddenly. At this moment. In a corner not far away. A female ninja dressed in simple and elegant clothes, mature and with unique temperament. Was seen with more than 30 children, carefully walking to the table with only leftovers, asking the children to find some leftovers to eat. The Konoha shinobi who was on guard in the distance seemed to be accustomed to it. And didn't say much. Uchiha Leunian glanced casually, and immediately showed an extremely surprised look. It turned out to be Yukushi Nono and Yukushi Kabuto who almost changed the future of the ninja world when he grew up. The entries of the two are also the most prominent. Ninja. Yukushi Nono. Age. 27 years old. Identity. Director of the orphanage. Attribute entries. Tragic fate purple kind and loving purple walking shrine maiden blue mature and romantic blue proficient in medical ninjutsu blue proficient in wind style blue fire style entry white etc. Tragic fate purple once a member of the root, lived a life full of danger and darkness, and later became the director of the orphanage. He thought he could live a stable life, but was threatened by Danzo and was involved in the dispute again. Kind and loving purple taking care of a group of orphans who lost their parents with all his heart and soul, he is loyal and compassionate. Walking Shrine Maiden, Blue, an elite ninja of the Root Organization's intelligence department, good at intelligence exploration and undercover work, with excellent spy skills, and excellent performance in carrying out missions in various countries, so he is called, Walking Shrine Maiden. Mature and romantic, Blue, likes to wear simple and elegant clothes, but is actually slim and tall, with big breasts. Ninja, Yukushi Kabuto. Age, 13 years old. Identity. Wandering Orphan. Attribute Entries. Ninjutsu Genius Orange Gifted Purple Ill-Fated Purple Meticulous Green Believer in Science Green Lucky Green Etc. Exclusive Concept of Nothingness Entry. Cautious Kabuto Orange If you are careful enough, you can change the entire ninja world. Ninjutsu Genius Orange has a very high ability to learn ninjutsu. As long as you study any ninjutsu seriously, you can get twice the result with half the effort. Genius Purple has a very high talent and learning ability. Ill-fated Purple has been an orphan since childhood, has experienced amnesia, will be trained as a spy in the future, and will experience a series of tragic experiences such as accidentally killing his adoptive mother. His fate is rough and tortuous. Science Believer Green subconsciously has a strong interest in the study of science and ninjutsu. Little Lucky Green Very Lucky even if you encounter a desperate situation, you have a chance to turn danger into safety. Yukushi Nono has two purple entries. His tragic fate and kindness are naturally in conflict. No wonder he was controlled by Danzo. I just don't know if his wave is as big as Tsunade's. 
Uchiha Leonian glanced at Yakushi Nano's entry, and then turned his eyes to look at Yakushi Kabuto's entry, revealing a thoughtful expression. As expected of Yakushi Kabuto. One orange entry, two purple entries and a green entry of little luck. No wonder he became one of the bosses in the later period. Even if he was defeated in the end, he was able to find himself again and become the new director of Konoha Orphanage. As for the exclusive concept of nothingness entry, Cautious Kabuto Orange, Uchiha Leonian can understand it, but he has no idea. Hem. As if sensing Uchiha Leonian's gaze. Yakushi Nono, who was originally smiling faintly, turned his head and took a look. As a result, he happened to look at Uchiha Leonian. Buzz. The next second, Yakushi Nono, who already admired Uchiha Leonian, could no longer hold back under the invisible influence of the book Thunder entry. Without any signs. Yakushi Nano's cheeks flashed a blush, and his inner admiration surged to ultimate, his head buzzed, and he began to drool uncontrollably. This. Seeing Nono couldn't hold back. Uchiha Leonian smiled in astonishment and turned around and walked somewhere else. He really didn't mean it. It was really that the concept god entry of the book Thunder was too buggy. Even though it had been restrained a lot, it still made Nono sink. Teacher Nono, what's wrong with you? Yakushi Kabuto, who was holding a large chicken leg that was eaten to the bone, noticed that something was wrong with Nono and made a worried voice. It's okay. The blush on Yakushi Nano's cheeks had not yet faded, and he shuddered and hurriedly said, Eat more, we'll go back to the tent area to rest later. Oh. Yakushi Kabuto pouted, not a chicken bone with little meat, looked back, and suddenly widened his eyes. It's Uchiha Leonian Sama. Just looking at his back. Yakushi Kabuto's inner admiration was beyond words. That's right. After seeing Uchiha Leonian's feat of fighting 3000 alone, Yakushi Kabuto's heart was filled with heroic dreams, and he silently made up his mind, that is, he also wanted to become a powerful ninja like Uchiha Leonian Sama and protect Dean Nona well. Yakushi Kabuto is still quite positive without the evil. Uchiha Leonian, who had already left, felt the burning gaze of Yakushi Kabuto, and couldn't help stretching. He whispered to a ninja on guard in the distance, prepare some food and toiletries for Yakushi Nono and the orphans separately. In the future, plan every meal for them. Yes. The Konoha Janan on guard didn't hesitate and nodded hurriedly. Ten minutes later. Wow. So many delicious foods. This, is this for us. Looking at the table full of food in front of them. More than 30 orphans showed surprise, even Yakushi Kabuto swallowed carefully. Eat it. Yakushi Nono smiled slightly, waved his arm and said, this is Uchiha Leonian ordered it personally. Everyone will have hot meals in the future. Okay. Let's eat. Before he finished speaking, more than 30 orphans picked up their bowls and chopsticks and started eating impatiently. Seeing this scene, Yakushi Nano's eyes flashed with happiness, but his heart was in a state of indecision. Seeing this scene, Yakushi Nano's eyes flashed with happiness, but her heart was unconsciously in a state of indecision. Yes, she was a little tangled in her heart. After just looking at Uchiha Leonian from a distance, she was actually excited, and somehow her heart began to sink. Now seeing that Uchiha Leonian took the initiative to order the logistics department to prepare a rich dinner for them, they no longer had to look for leftovers from others, and she was moved even more. Maybe this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The next second, Yakushi Nono took a deep breath and clenched her fists. She was once an excellent intelligence officer, and after leaving the route, she served as the director of the Konoha Orphanage. This time, she came to Mount Kikyo to bring some homeless orphans back to Konoha village, but she didn't expect that she, who had already withdrawn from the route, received a secret order from the leader of the route, Shimura Danzo, to adopt orphans as a cover to monitor the dynamics of Orochimaru and Uchiha Leonian, and report any abnormalities through the secret contact of the route. At first, she refused, but she didn't expect Danzo to play by the rules and directly threatened that if she didn't continue to work for him, he would no longer provide funds to the orphanage, and would also propose to the Konoha high-level officials to let the orphans in the orphanage go to the battlefield for training. This hit Yakushi Nano's soft spot, so even though the seal of the root of tongue disaster had been lifted, Yakushi Nono was still firmly controlled by Danzo and forced to secretly work for the root. Now, 
she seems to have a new choice. As a rising star of Konoha village, the biggest contributor to the decisive battle of Mount Kikio, and a person who is at odds with Shimura Danzo, Uchiha Leonian may be a good choice to cling to. When she thought of this, a ray of determination flashed across Yukushi Nano's cheeks. She would go take a shower when she returned, and wash off her proud figure hidden under simple and elegant clothes. She didn't ask for anything, just hoped to be satisfied, and prayed that Uchiha Leonian could help her get out of Shimura Danzo's control. At the same time, after wandering around the camp for a while, Uchiha Leonian seemed to sense it, and his brows frowned unconsciously. Why do I feel like I'm being watched? So, Uchiha Leonian looked at the remaining 198,762 entry experience points, and without hesitation, silently ordered. System, upgrade the primary observation hockey, white, to the purple entry for me. Ding. Host, are you sure you want to spend 111,000 entry experience points to upgrade the primary observation hockey, white, to the purple entry? Sure. Ding. Congratulations host, you spent 111,000 entry experience points to upgrade the primary observation hockey, white, to the advanced observation hockey, purple. Entry. Advanced observation hockey, purple. Quality, purple. Effect, can detect the breath and emotional changes of surrounding creatures, and can also be used to predict and avoid danger. Buzz, at the moment when the advanced observation hockey entry was successfully upgraded. Uchiha Leonian's five senses became extremely sharp and unconsciously derived super senses, especially under the blessing of chakra, everything around him could not be hidden from his perception. On the other side, in a dark corner not far from the Konoha camp, White Zetsu carefully popped his head out and looked at Luo Lei standing at the edge of the camp, revealing a calm expression. Little Uchiha Leonian, easy to monitor, from now on, Uchiha Leonian's every move, will not be hidden from Lord Uchiha Madara. This Uchiha Leonian looks ordinary except for being handsome. After watching for a few seconds, White Zetsu showed a puzzled look. The sudden appearance of this Uchiha Leonian was completely beyond its expectations. If it had been forbearing all the time, waiting for the third ninja war to make a big splash, then this Uchiha Leonian must be an old coin. I sensed it. No wonder I feel like I'm being monitored. However, at this moment, with the help of the advanced observation hockey, Uchiha Leonian, with his perception that had become several times stronger, instantly sensed White Zetsu who was perfectly hiding in the dark, and a cold color flashed in his eyes. Lousy did not take the initiative to provoke you, but now he came to monitor Lousy, Uchiha Madara, believe it or not, Lousy will screw you at once, and then plunder your concept god entry of, experience Madara, not good. Sensing Uchiha Leonian's undisguised coldness, White Zetsu, who was extremely confident in his concealment skills, felt nervous, and did not have time to think about how he was exposed. He quickly sneaked into the underground and wanted to get away. Want to run. Uchiha Leonian's mouth curled up slightly, and as chakra surged, countless iron sands hidden underground quickly gathered together, and then he stretched out his right hand and suddenly raised it up. Clang. The next moment. White Zetsu, who was wrapped in iron sand, was caught from underground. How is it possible? After being caught from underground, White Zetsu was completely dumbfounded. He was about to escape. But he was caught by countless iron sand. More importantly, how could Uchiha Leonian be magnet style? It was totally unreasonable. The only good news. Maybe this body is just a clone. Hee <laughs> hee. Uchiha Leonian didn't care so much, and said coldly, if there is a next time, you will bear the consequences. Magnet style. Iron sand burial. Puff. After this sentence. A bursting sound was heard. White Zetsu's body was crushed alive. Why, do you still want to hide in the dark? After dealing with White Zetsu. Uchiha Leonian's mouth showed a trace of arc, and said calmly. How is it possible? Black Zetsu, who was still secretly frightened, was completely dumbfounded. Even Uchiha Madara didn't notice his ability to hide. How did Uchiha Leonian find out? However, since he had been discovered, he didn't have time to think about it and had to leave quickly. Buzz. Accompanied by a wave of space, Black Zetsu's body flashed a few times and disappeared in a dark corner. No. Don't leave. We can cooperate well. Swish. 
A sound of breaking through the air sounded, and Uchiha Leunian appeared where Black Zetsu was just now, showing a very speechless expression. Black Zetsu of Dogecoin, his ability to hide is absolutely top-notch, but he was still deceived. The only pity is that he didn't even open his mouth, and Black Zetsu ran away. If Black Zetsu agrees to cooperate, Uchiha Leunian doesn't mind helping him rescue his mother Otsutsuki Kegaya. In any case, in front of the concept god entries in the book, even Otsutsuki Kegaya has to kneel down and sing, conquer, without any need to be vain. So, Black Zetsu missed a chance to recognize his father and change his fate. It's boring. Uchiha Leunian carefully sensed it, and then shook his head with a sense of unfulfilled desire. This Black Zetsu, no wonder he could do things under the nose of the Sage of Six Paths. He would run away without hesitation at the slightest sign of trouble. Forget it. Go back and rest first, and return to Konoha village tomorrow. Uchiha Leunian showed a teasing smile, and his body disappeared in a flash. Five minutes later, in a luxurious tent in the central area of Konoha camp, after a simple wash, Uchiha Leunian planned to rest, but seemed to sense something, so he sat on a chair and picked up a teacup to drink water. Master Uchiha Leunian, I have important information to report to you. The next second, a gentle voice sounded, and then, before Uchiha Leunian could react, Yakushi Nono, wearing black glasses and a tight black combat uniform, pushed the door open. Hmm. Seeing Nono in this outfit, Uchiha Leunian showed a very surprised look. I didn't expect that. The god level entry was true. Although Nono usually wears the dean's uniform to show off. But, putting on a black tight combat uniform, directly shows her slender and tall figure with big breasts to the fullest, right? Gulp. Seeing Uchiha Leunian up close again. Yakushi Nano's face flashed a blush, and he couldn't help swallowing his saliva. That's the feeling. As if the body is out of control, the soul is trembling. Both addictive, fascinating and infatuated, as if he is stuck in a quagmire and can't get out. No no. Uchiha Leunian raised his eyebrows, and then said slowly, What information do you need to report now? This information is very urgent. After hearing this, Yakushi Nono took a deep breath, suppressed his restless heart, and said, Master Uchiha Leunian, Shimura Danzo of the Root asked me to secretly monitor you and Master Orochimaru. Okay, I got it. Uchiha Leunian nodded and said calmly, I believe you have your own difficulties, and I will not blame you. What? Yakushi Nono exclaimed, and at the same time as he breathed a sigh of relief, a glimmer of tears appeared in his slightly red eyes. Master Uchiha Leunian is really too good. And he took the initiative to ask people to prepare meals for them, and he did not blame her. However, what Yakushi Nono did not know was that Uchiha Leunian was mentally prepared for her to be threatened and controlled by Shimura Danzo. In the original work, Nono was completely taken advantage of by Danzo, and was arranged to fight with Yakushi Kabuto. Because of the sentence, who are you, the young heart of Kabuto was deeply hurt, prompting Yakushi Kabuto to completely turn evil. I know what you are worried about. Uchiha Leunian glanced at Nono and chuckled. You don't have to take Shimura Danzo's threat to heart at all. From now on, be the director of the orphanage. Tisk, tisk. Before the voice fell, there was a sound of clothes being torn. Yakushi Nono, who had already drooled, could no longer restrain himself. He used a kanai to tear his black tight combat uniform, revealing his fair skin. Then, Yakushi Nono put on golden glasses, stretched out his hand to tie up his long hair. And looked at Uchiha Leunian with affection. No. Which cadre can withstand such a test? Facing the Shaobai who was delivered to his door. Uchiha Leunian, who wanted to rest, was too lazy to hesitate, and stood up directly. And did it. At the same time, in the ninja world. A mysterious place, accompanied by a space fluctuation. Black Zetsu's body appeared here, looking up at the moon suspended in the air, his eyes changing. What is going on with this Uchiha Leunian? Suddenly rising, not only is he not an idiot in ninjutsu, but he has also become a monster-level combat force comparable to the third rakage, and even mastered the magnet style, completely out of his control. Especially that amazing perception, not only did he perceive White Zetsu, but he also seemed to perceive his existence. More importantly, he
he didn't dare to bet whether Uchiha Leunian actually sensed him, so he could only evacuate immediately. Alas! After a few seconds, Black Zetsu couldn't help but sigh, and his eyes were once again filled with a resolute look. Just kidding, he has been forbearing for so many years, playing with Uchiha Madara, he will not admit defeat or be afraid, in a word, no one can stop him from rescuing his mother, not even the Uchiha Leonian who suddenly appeared. On the other side, in that unknown underground cave. Lord Madara. I'm sorry, the mission to monitor Uchiha Leonian failed. Accompanied by a trembling voice. White Zetsu's body emerged from underground. Huh. Uchiha Madara, who was resting with his eyes closed, frowned and said in a low voice, Did Uchiha Leonian find you? Yes. White Zetsu nodded and said in doubt, his perception is very strong, it seems that he can sense my existence. Really? The old Uchiha Madara closed his eyes and said without any fluctuation, it seems that, we still underestimated Uchiha Leonian. Lord Uchiha Madara, Uchiha Leonian can actually use magnet style. White Zetsu hesitated for a moment, then said slowly, he used magnet style to pull my clone out of the ground, and warned me that if I monitor him again, I will bear the consequences. What? Uchiha's ninja has mastered magnet style. Bang. A crisp sound rang out. Uchiha Madara, who had been maintaining his strong demeanor, suddenly opened his ordinary sharingan and stood up from the chair in disbelief. What is the situation with this Uchiha Leonian? Isn't he a bit weird? I always feel, he seems to know my existence. White Zetsu seemed to have thought of something, and said surprisingly, from beginning to end, he was very calm, and he was not curious about my White Zetsu clone at all. Silence. This made Uchiha Madara fall into doubt. Is there a problem in any link? But, after thinking about all the plans from beginning to end, Uchiha Madara still couldn't find the problem. It stands to reason that Uchiha Leonian couldn't know it, right? After an unknown amount of time, Uchiha Madara regained his proud look, revealed a confident smile, and muttered to himself, it's so interesting, it seems that the Uchiha clan has really appeared a monster, with secrets that even I don't know. Madara-sama, what should we do now? White Zetsu thought for a moment, and said slowly, do I still need to send a clone to monitor Uchiha Leonian now? Hee <laughs> hee, there is no need. Uchiha Madara's eyes flickered a few times, and there was no fear or fear on his old face. Instead, he said with arrogance, everything is going according to the original plan. When the time is right, I will personally meet this rising star of the Uchiha clan. Yes. White Zetsu nodded in understanding, and then dived underground. Ah. After White Zetsu left, Uchiha Madara sighed with regret. Another monster appeared in the Uchiha clan, but unfortunately, they will eventually go to the opposite side. Now he just wants to find a suitable substitute as his successor, and by the way, let the successor of Rinnegan, Nagato, completely become a tool man, I just hope that nothing will happen in the future. Otherwise, even the coffin lid can't hold him, this legendary ninja. The next day, early in the morning, Yakushi Nanoyu resisted the discomfort of her body and put on a set of spare clothes. She wanted to get up and leave. She felt comfortable. But, there were more than 30 orphans waiting for her. However, when she thought of the complete indulgence last night, even now, Yakushi Nanoyu felt that she could not restrain herself. And the invisible charm exuded by Lord Uchiha Leonian was simply poison to her. But she could not stop. Of course, what made Yakushi Nanoyu even more excited was that, from now on, she would no longer be threatened by Danzo, Lord Uchiha Leonian had promised that. She only needed to be a good orphanage in the future, and no one in Konoha village would dare to trouble her. As for becoming Uchiha Leonian's girlfriend in a legitimate way, that's better forget it. On the one hand, she is not the kind of person who is high profile. On the other hand, she wants to concentrate on being the director of the orphanage, and keep a connection with Uchiha Leonian, and just have fun secretly. Hee <laughs> hee. Looking at Nono, whose expression was changing, Uchiha Leonian stood up with his bare chest and said in a light voice, what are you thinking about? Ah, nothing. Due to extreme myopia, Yakushi Nono shook his head with a blush on his face, and hurriedly picked up the black framed glasses next to him and put them on. The golden glasses were broken last night and could not be used. Wait a minute before you leave. 
The next second, Uchiha Leonian seemed to think of something and said, I will give you another opportunity, I hope you can take it. Huh. Yakushi Nono, who had been marked by the book Thunder, showed a puzzled expression, and then, he thought of something, and smiled knowingly, what? Do you think I don't understand? He also gave me a chance. Isn't it just to let me eat some protein? Then, ignoring the stunned Uchiha Leonian, he squatted down with a seductive look to pick up something. No, I really don't mean that. Uchiha Leonian spread his hands, showing a helpless expression, he just wanted to refresh and draw an entry for Yakushi Nono. So, Uchiha Leonian looked at Yakushi Nono in a blink of an eye. As expected, under his strong support, the purple entry of Yakushi Nono's tragic fate purple has been broken and disappeared, making kindness and love purple burst into a more dazzling purple light. I hope to get a good entry. The next second, Uchiha Leonian took a deep breath and silently ordered. System, give me the chance to draw Yakushi Nano's free entry. Ding. The entry is being randomly drawn, drawing. Ding. Congratulations host, Yakushi Nono has obtained a brand new orange entry medical ninjutsu perfection, do you want her to merge? Medical ninjutsu perfection, the control of chakra has reached the pinnacle. With a clap of hands, you can perform perfect level medical ninjutsu at will. What? You actually drew medical ninjutsu perfection? As soon as the system prompt sounded, Uchiha Leonian showed a look of surprise. Is this a good luck? You know. Yakura also drew a blood limit magnet style. Now it's good. Yakushi Nono directly drew the orange entry of medical ninjutsu perfection, which is indeed a bit lucky. Looking at Yakushi Nanoyu who was still working hard, Uchiha Leonian stood and closed his eyes. One second. Five minutes. Ten minutes. As time passed by. Until half an hour later. Uchiha Leonian's body trembled a few times. It was at this moment that Uchiha Leonian gave the order to merge. Buzz. Without any signs, green chakra waves surged from Yakushi Nono. Yakushi Nono, who was still swallowing, seemed to sense something. She suddenly opened her eyes wide with a look of horror, and she was disgusted that the storm could not be calmed down. It was amazing. It was as if she had practiced medical ninjutsu for decades, and it was perfected all of a sudden. It turned out that what Uchiha Leonian said about granting her wealth was true. Yakushi Nono was so happy that she wanted to cry. She had always felt that the skilled level of medical ninjutsu was not enough. For example, she had not yet cured the injuries of some orphans and could only treat them a little bit a day. Now, as long as the chakra was enough, she could use the pinnacle of medical ninjutsu to treat them all at once. Thinking of this, Yakushi Nono gritted her teeth, and gave, she wanted more gifts, only once a month. Uchiha Leonian saw this and said hurriedly, the orphans have woken up, why don't you leave? Ah. After hearing this, Yakushi Nono wiped the corner of his mouth, tidied his clothes and pants, and hurriedly left the tent. Ah. Women are all pigs. Starting tomorrow, go to bed early and get up early. After Nono left, Uchiha Leonian couldn't help but sigh, and then, Uchiha Leonian began to simply pack up and wash, preparing to return to Konoha village. At the same time, after Yakushi Nono returned to the large tent where more than 30 orphans lived, he found that under the command of Yakushi Kabuto, everyone was dressed neatly and had washed. Among them, some injured orphans had already lined up, ready to receive treatment. Teacher Nono, we can start today's treatment. Yakushi Kabuto grinned and chuckled, my injury has been temporarily stabilized, you treat others first. No need. Yakushi Nono reached out and touched Yakushi Kabuto's head, and said confidently, today, I will treat all of you by myself. What? Upon hearing this, not only Yakushi Kabuto, but even the orphans in the scene showed an extremely surprised look. Isn't it right? Can't teacher Nono only treat a few people each time? However, Yakushi Nono didn't care so much. As the chakra surged, his hands were covered with green chakra, and he began to use the full-level medical ninjutsu to perform kamui. At the same time, sensing the fluctuation of chakra, the perception-type ninjas of the Konoha Shinobi army all showed surprised expressions. They wanted to check it out, but were stopped by Orochimaru who was patrolling the Konoha camp. Leonian, how many secrets do you have? Orochimaru's eyes flickered a few times, and he licked his lips with his tongue. 
Yakushi Nono and Uchiha Liunian stayed together for one night, and the medical ninjutsu has achieved such a great improvement. It is really a bit unbelievable. If I stayed with Liunian for one night, would it be? Wait a minute, why would I have such a thought? Orochimaru hurriedly shook his head, suppressed his restless heart, and walked towards his tent. He had to change his research plan and couldn't be so radical. At noon that day, after saying goodbye to Orochimaru, under the gaze of thousands of Konoha shinobi, Uchiha Liunian flew towards the direction of Konoha village. Of course, Orochimaru also mentioned Yakushi Nono, and wanted to know why her medical ninjutsu improved so quickly. Uchiha Liunian could only smile and attributed the transformation to Nano's desire to improve. After the candlelight talk, Nono was like an epiphany, and her talent in medical ninjutsu skyrocketed. Orochimaru was very curious and expressed his intention to have a candlelight talk, but was rejected by Uchiha Liunian. Well. I said the same thing. He really has no interest in Ant Snake. As for Orochimaru's report to the Konoha high-level officials about his return. Uchiha Liunian did not object. Anyway, he would definitely not be able to hide his return to Konoha village, so it would be better for him to leave openly in front of thousands of Konoha shinobi. Old man, Uchiha Liunian has completely changed. Looking at Uchiha Liunian's back, Orochimaru narrowed his eyes slightly, revealing a wicked smile, and muttered to himself, there will be a good show soon, and Konoha's sky may change. But, thinking of this, a trace of worry flashed across Orochimaru's brows. At this stage, the three wars have not ended yet, Sunagakur surrendered. But, Iwagakur, Cloud Shinobi Village, Karigakur, Rain Shinobi Village are still gearing up. Once there is unrest in Konoha Village, the problem may be serious. However, Orochimaru seemed to have thought of something and quickly relaxed. Haha. Ha. Anyway, the decisive battle of Mount Kikyo has been won. Next, he doesn't want to continue to participate in the Third War. Uchiha Liunian has returned strongly. It depends on whether the Konoha high-level officials will continue to compromise. Konoha Village. The Hokage building in the central area. Inside the office of the third Hokage. Huh. Serutobi Hirazan was smoking a pipe and looking at a latest intelligence document. He frowned unconsciously. Iwagakur and Cloud Shinobi Village seem to have taken action. Kurigakur seems to have not taken any action, but in fact it must be paying attention secretly and wants to wait for an opportunity to act. The only thing that makes Serutobi Hirazan feel better is that Konoha Village won the decisive battle of Mount Kikyo with almost no casualties. So, the Third War has entered a white-hot stage, and Konoha Village does not need to panic too much. Third Suchikage Onoki and Third Rakage are not easy to deal with. A few seconds later. Serutobi Hirazan exhaled a few large puffs of white smoke, and his eyes flickered. He didn't really take Karigakur seriously. Because, from the beginning to the end, Iwagakur and Cloud Shinobi Village were the real opponents of Konoha Village. One Onoki and one third Rakage were both very difficult to deal with. Ah. As if thinking of something. Serutobi Hirazan sighed heavily. If Uchiha Liunian could be branded with the will of fire. How great would that be? Konoha Village will have a perfect tool man comparable to Hitaki White Fang. At that time, team up with Namikaze Minato and become the twin stars of Konoha. Then give up Nine Tails Jinchuriki Uzumaki Kashina and let Namikaze Minato marry him home, so that all parties will be happy. This time, he promoted Uchiha Ryunin as the hero of Konoha Village and the inheritor of the Will of Fire. It is to put the tight ring of the Will of Fire on Uchiha Liunian to make him have an idle burden, to see if he can do some preliminary pua, I don't know if it works. By the way, Uchiha's other genius Uchiha Fugaku seems to have awakened Mangekio Sharingan. The Uchiha clan doesn't seem to be very peaceful, and the two factions are afraid of being at loggerheads. L. Suddenly. Serutobi Hirazan's eyes flashed with a gleam of light. The fortress can be broken from the inside. As the largest family in Konoha, if the Uchiha clan can be split into two families, it will be more beneficial than harmful to the entire Konoha village. Now the Konoha village high-level officials only need to remain neutral, and at the critical moment, they will add fuel to the fire, which should be able to achieve twice the result with half the effort. Bang. However, at this moment, a hurried knock on the door sounded. Come in. 
Sarutobi Hirazan collected his thoughts and said in a calm voice. Before he finished speaking, an Anbu Janan pushed the door open, knelt on one knee, and said respectfully, Third Hokage, there is an urgent report from Mount Kikyo. Huh. After hearing this, Sarutobi Hirazan showed a surprised look. Wasn't the Mount Kikyo battlefield already dealing with various follow-ups and signing a surrender agreement with San Shinobi Village? Why is there an urgent report? Say. Sarutobi Hirazan was a little confused, but he still spoke. The Anbu Janan didn't dare to hesitate and reported, Lord Orochimaru has sent a message that Uchiha Leonian has left Mount Kikyo and returned to Konoha Village. What did you say? Bang. Perhaps he was too shocked. Third Hokage Sarutobi Hirazan suddenly stood up, showing an unbelievable look, and roared, Didn't I give the order to let Orochimaru and Uchiha Ryuan lead the Konoha Shinobi army to stay in Kikyo Mountain temporarily? Why didn't he obey the order and just left Kikyo Mountain and returned to Konoha Village? He was no longer calm. Third Hokage Sarutobi Hirazan could no longer remain calm. At this stage, he really didn't want Uchiha Ryuan to return to Konoha Village. To be more precise, the Konoha village leaders were not ready to deal with Uchiha Ryuan, the new hero of Konoha. What was the result? Uchiha Ryuan did not ask the Konoha leaders for permission, and directly returned to Konoha village. This was a rhythm that completely ignored him, the third Hokage. Even if the general was away, he still had to obey orders. Otherwise, what was I, the third Hokage? What made Sarutobi Hirazan even more dumbfounded was that Uchiha Ryuan, the hero of Konoha, had returned. How should the Konoha village leaders face him? Originally, they wanted to make Uchiha Ryuan the hero of Konoha. But now, Uchiha Ryuan did not follow the usual rules and returned, directly putting the Konoha leaders on the fire. After pondering for a moment, Sarutobi Hirazan waved his hand helplessly and said, Pass my order. Quickly let Shimura Danzo, Yudetane Kaharu, and Mitokado Homura come to the office. Yes. The Anbu Janan did not dare to hesitate and turned around and left. Uchiha Ryuan, what do you want to do? After Anbu left, Sarutobi Hirazan's expression turned cold, and a trace of dissatisfaction flashed in his eyes. Konoha Village can't afford a genius who doesn't obey at all. If you don't care about Hokage, then I won't treat you as my own. When he thought of this, Sarutobi Hirazan hesitated for a moment, and a kind smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. As the hero of Konoha village, the genius of the Uchiha clan, since he has returned, the Uchiha clan should also know. In this case, I, the third Hokage, will tell the Uchiha clan the good news of Uchiha's return, which is also normal. Where Konoha dances, the fire will also continue. Sarutobi Hirazan picked up the pipe and smoked it leisurely, his eyes returned to the look of everything being under control, and muttered to himself, Uchiha Futian, this time it depends on how you choose. The clan land of the Uchiha clan. The central area. The chief's lounge. What? Uchiha Leonian returned to Konoha village without permission. Even if the battle of Kikyo mountain was won, but, the third war has just begun, why did he come back? Looking at the latest document in his hand, Uchiha Fugaku's whole body suddenly became a little red. Now Uchiha Leonian returned with the title of Konoha hero, and directly hit his soft spot. Because he was not fully prepared, Uchiha Fugaku was still adapting to the Mangekyo Sharingan, and was caught off guard. It's uncomfortable. When he thought of Uchiha Leonian becoming the hero of Konoha village. And his reputation throughout the ninja world. Uchiha Fugaku's heart was full of envy and hatred. But, the same thing. He was unwilling and would not give up. And there was no word for surrender in Uchiha's dictionary. No matter what, he had to fight and fight. Seeing Uchiha Futian's expression was a little ugly. A Jonin of the Uchiha clan who was reporting took a deep breath and said slowly. Uchiha Futian clan leader, the third Hokage also asked me to bring a message, he hopes that the Konoha guard force can maintain the peace and stability of Konoha village. Hem. When he heard this, a gleam of light flashed across Uchiha Futian's eyes, and he sneered in his heart. Sure enough, Sarutobi Hirazan, the Hokage, also had no good intentions. The return of Uchiha Leonian not only made him, the Uchiha clan leader, uncomfortable, but also the Konoha high-level officials. 
However, with the tacit support of Konoha's high-level officials, Uchiha Futian felt relieved. Uchiha Liunian suddenly rose to power, did not give Shimura Danzo face, and now violated the third Hokage's order to stay on Kikio Mountain and be on standby. He was indeed a man of some merit, but he was arrogant and looked down on others. Ha ha. In that case, let's give it a try. In the end, Uchiha Futian sneered a few times and ordered the Uchiha Janin in front of him. Let the Konoha security forces assemble. I want to hold a meeting. Understood. The Uchiha Janin understood immediately and hurried away to convey the order. Of course, the actions of the Konoha Guard Force did not escape the notice of the Uchiha clan's chief elder, Uchiha Setsuna. At first, he was still a little confused. However, soon news came out from Konoha village that the Konoha hero, Uchiha Ryunian, had returned from Mount Kikio. Uchiha Setsuna was relieved and called a meeting with his confidants. Since Uchiha Ryunian had returned, many things should be brought to the table. At the same time, Konoha village was also shaken. After learning that the new hero of Konoha, Uchiha Liunian had returned, the civilians, merchants, etc. were still a little excited and happy. After all, this was the hero of Konoha village who defeated the San Shinobi army by himself. But, the various families in Konoha village. But they were shocked and broke out in a cold sweat. If they remembered correctly, the third Hokage's order was that the Kikio Mountain Konoha Shinobi Army should stay on standby and be ready to go to other battlefields at any time. Now Uchiha Liunian is back. This, this is against the third Hokage's order, and it will cause big problems, right? In an instant, Konoha village presented a state of ice and fire. Some people cheered, some people were worried. At the same time, in the heart of the land of fire. Swish. 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 With the sound of breaking through the air, seven figures were seen sailing at high speed in the lush forest. If someone were here, they would be shocked, because, they were the seven ninja swordsmen of Kurigakur, Biwa Juzo, Zigwashin Pufferfish, Kurishi Kushimaru, Tongsao Yaito, Muri Shinpachi, Kurochu Raiga, etc. It is rumored that the seven people are not only the elite of Mist Shinobi, but also equipped with a ninja sword suitable for their own ninjutsu. The seven people can conquer a small country overnight, and even cage-level ninjas have to avoid their edge. However, such seven elite mist ninjas appeared in the heart of the land of fire, which is obviously abnormal. Ha ha ha. The land of fire is just like this. The third Mizukage is really too cautious. Let's kill some Konoha shinobi and then evacuate. Okay. What are you afraid of? The seven of us will work together. Even if we can't win, we can still retreat safely. Accompanied by a series of extremely cold voices. The seven people including Biwa Juzo, Zigwashin Pufferfish Ghost all grinned, revealing their sharp teeth, and their brows were undisguisedly cold. This time, they violated the third Mizukage's order to guard the border and entered the land of fire privately. At the beginning, there were still some fear and caution. As a result, after killing some Konoha shinobi, they were not so afraid anymore. Instead, they had more fun killing more and more. Unknowingly, they came to the heart of Wanokuni. Suddenly, at this moment, the Tongsao Yeren who was on the move seemed to sense something and said with murderous intent. Let's go. I sense prey. We'll leave after we finish this job. Swish. After saying this, the Tongsao Yeren flew to the left. Ha ha ha. Follow me, follow me. After our deeds in the land of fire spread, the names of our seven ninja swordsmen will be famous throughout the ninja world. Biwa Juzo, Zigwashin Pufferfish Ghost, Kurishin Kushimaru and others did not hesitate, all rushed up with teasing expressions on their faces. Their ninja swords were already thirsty. In the heart of the land of fire. In a lush forest. Wow. The young might guy grinned, revealing a glittering big white fang, and said in great surprise, Dad, you are here. Youth is a hymn of passion, might die, who had a kappa head and thick eyebrows, gave his thumbs up, laughed, and scolded. Guy, you have gone too far, and you are about to pass the safe area, hurry back to Konoha village. Really? Might Guy touched his head and grinned. Dad, youth cannot be timid, we also want to complete this task better. Ah, really? Woo woo woo. The next second. Without any signs. Might Guy and Might Die looked at each other, then hugged each other and shed tears of youth. Ah, uh, 
Seeing this scene, Shiranui Genma and Ebisu looked at each other, and each saw the helplessness in each other's eyes. What else can they say? They were already somewhat accustomed to this scene. Might guy and might die, the father and son, would hug each other and cry loudly for their youth whenever they were excited. However, this time they did go a little far. Then Shiranui Genma and Ebisu glanced around, their eyes fell on might die, and the uneasiness in their hearts disappeared. Just kidding. Might die is now Konoha's Taijutsu Janin. Originally, Might Dai was just a Taijutsu Genin, but because he was familiar with Konoha's new hero, Uchiha Ryunian. He learned the six ninja styles. And in just two years, he became a Taijutsu Janin from Konoha's 10,000 years Genin. With such a Janin who is good at Taijutsu, there shouldn't be any danger, right? Dad, why are you here? After crying for his youth, Might Guy said with some curiosity, aren't you practicing the six styles of ninja in seclusion? Guy, Dad, my seclusion is over. Might Dai showed an extremely excited look, raised his right hand and gave a thumbs up and said loudly, Dad, I have practiced the six styles of ninja to the level of Grandmaster. What? Wow. After hearing this, Might Guy covered his mouth and exclaimed in admiration, Dad, then aren't you a Taijutsu elite Jonin now? That's right. Might Dai nodded confidently. Of course. He still had one more thing to say. That is, after practicing the six styles of ninja to the level of Grandmaster. Uchiha Liunian will teach him chakra, armament color, hockey. Thinking about it, Might Dai was a little excited. Is he already an elite Jonin? Shiranui Genma and Ebisu couldn't help but widen their eyes, looking at Might Guy with envy. Before, when Uncle Might was a Jenin, many people laughed at him. But they didn't expect that he would make a comeback now. A Taijutsu elite Jonin is definitely not to be underestimated, and is already a high-end combat force in Konoha village. Besides, as a Taijutsu elite Jonin, Lord Uchiha Liunian defeated the San Shinobi army on his own at the Kikyo mountain battlefield. Now Uncle Might is also a Taijutsu elite Jonin, and they are excited and proud just thinking about it. Dad, I want to be an excellent Taijutsu ninja in the future. The next second. Might Guy also raised his right hand and raised his thumb, and shouted his youthful voice with enthusiasm. Okay, let's work hard together. Might was excited. And hugged his son Might Guy and cried excitedly. This made Shiranui Genma and Ebisu look at each other, and they could see the envy in each other's eyes. Always passionate, always young, forever youthful. This may be the secret of Uncle Might Day's success. Guy, wait a minute. Suddenly. At this moment. With the amazing insight of the physical ninja, Might Dai seemed to sense something, and he was crying for the youth, but he became solemn directly. Dad. Might Guy was a little confused. Just when he was about to say something. Swish. 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 A series of air-breaking sounds rang out. The seven ninja swordsmen, Biwa Juzo, Zigwashin Pufferfish Ghost, Kurishi Kushimaru, Tongsao Yebiran, Wuli Shinpachi, Kurochu Raiga and other seven people jumped and appeared on the towering trees around them, and surrounded them with a sneer on their faces. Three little brats from Konoha village and a man with thick eyebrows. Hee hee, let's fight quickly. This is the last boat, you must evacuate after you finish it. Listening to these murderous voices. Might Guy, Shiranui Genma and Ebisu widened their eyes, showing panic to the extreme. Only Might Dai frowned, and subconsciously blocked Might Guy and the other two behind him. He was no longer the 10,000 years Genin, and if he guessed correctly, the seven people in front of him should be the famous seven ninja swordsmen of Karigakur. However, how could the seven ninja swordsmen appear in the hinterland of the Land of Fire? Something is wrong. In an instant, Might Dai's forehead broke out in cold sweat. If there was only one person, he could evacuate even if he couldn't win. But, Might Guy, Shiranui Genma and Ebisu are here, this is a bit troublesome, right? I'm sorry, my friend, Uchiha Leonian, I failed you. Thinking of this, Might Dai suddenly laughed passionately, took a few steps forward, and chose to face the seven ninja swordsmen. He was not afraid of a hammer. Just wanted to see how perverted he would be when using the eight inner gates as a taijutsu elite jonin. Might Dai was determined to use the eight inner gates, and he was too lazy to ask Might Guy, Shiranui Genma, and Ebisu to evacuate. 
he used the eight inner gates for the last dance, and he could use his death to explain to Guy the mystery of youth as a father and give him a good last lesson. Aren't you afraid? The Biwa Juzo, who had a large cross scar on his right face, showed a teasing look, jumped to the ground, clenched the beheading sword in his hand, and sneered. We have killed many Konoha shinobi in the land of fire, and you are the first one who dares to confront us without fear. Hee <laughs> hee. The watermelon mountain puffer ghost with green stripes on his cheeks showed his sharp fangs and said viciously, Thick-browed man, being a hero will pay a price, why are you not afraid of our seven ninja swordsmen? Ha ha ha. Mike Dai raised his eyebrows and laughed, youth is a hymn to passion, and you are not afraid. Humph. The Kurishin Kushimaru, who had long fluffy yellow hair, snorted coldly and said, I will torture you to death later, and you will know how to be afraid. Don't talk nonsense. Youth is worthless. Now is our killing feast. We will slaughter those twenty or eighty little devils in front of him later. Tongsao Yaito, Wuli Jinpachi, and Kurochu Raiga were also a little angry. They surrounded Might Dai and others in a few flashes, with undisguised killing intent in their eyes. Perhaps it was because they killed too many people. The killing intent of the seven people swept out without any concealment, making Might Dai look cautious. As for Might Guy, Shiranui Genma and Ebisu were even more unbearable. Just like when Uchiha Sasuke faced Orochimaru for the first time, the invisible pressure made their bodies tremble unconsciously. Fortunately, at the critical moment, Might Dai reached out and patted Might Guy, Shiranui Genma and Ebisu's shoulders, grinned and said, Don't worry, all seven of them will die. Wait a minute. Dad, you are, you want to. After hearing this. Shiranui Genma and Ebisu didn't know what would happen. Might Guy seemed to have thought of something, showing an unbelievable look, and tears soon filled his eyes. Eight Inner Gates. Dad is going to use the Eight Inner Gates formation. Okay. As the son of Might Die. Might Guy also knows about the Eight Inner Gates that his father spent 20 years mastering. By unlocking the channels that bind the chakra in the human body, you can temporarily gain powerful strength especially after opening the shock gate and the death gate, the strength can skyrocket several times, but, there will also be serious side effects. Some people will die. Guy, youth doesn't believe in tears. Haven't you always wanted to know the eight inner gates? Formation's power. Now daddy will tell you through actual combat that even the seven ninja swordsmen are trash in front of the eight inner gates formation. Might die showed an extremely excited expression. You know. Now he is an elite taijutsu janin. Using eight inner gates. The power he bursts out is absolutely terrifying. Perhaps he doesn't even need to burst into the eight inner gates formation to unilaterally sweep the seven ninja swordsmen. Woo woo woo. Might Guy burst into tears all of a sudden. Then. Might Guy subconsciously hugged Might Guy and cried for youth. This scene. Saw the mouths of the seven people, such as Biwa Juzo, Zigwashin Puffer Ghost, and Kakuzu, twitched slightly. Two thick-browed men, one big and one small, you keep talking about passion and youth, and you hugged and cried excitedly in front of us, the seven ninja swordsmen. Isn't it a bit too disrespectful to us? As for Might Dai, a taijutsu elite janin. As members of the seven ninja swordsmen, they didn't take it seriously at all. It just so happened that they had killed many elite janin, but hadn't killed any taijutsu elite janin. More importantly. They were very dissatisfied with Uchiha Ryunian who had a great Kamui at the Kikyo Mountain Battlefield. It just so happened that they encountered Might, a Taijutsu elite Janin, and they had to punish him properly to let the ninja world know that the so-called Taijutsu elite Janin was really not worth mentioning in front of the seven ninja swordsmen. Buzz. 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 The next second. Accompanied by seven violent chakra fluctuations. The seven members of the seven ninja swordsmen, including Biwa Juzo, Zigwashin Pufferfish, etc., all picked up their own ninja swords. That's right. They will not underestimate any opponent. And they will go all out when they start. Stand behind me. Mike Day's expression also became serious. He stretched out his hand to protect Mike Guy, Shiranui Genma and Ebisu behind him, and looked at the seven ninja swordsmen with a burning gaze. There was no fear of insufficient firepower. Only excitement, uneasiness, and expectation. The Grandmaster Level Ninja Six styles cooperated with the eight inner gates that maximized the explosive power. Even if you just think about it. Might Day's body began to tremble with excitement. 
Do it. Biwa Juzo smiled coldly, suddenly tightened the beheading sword in his hand, and roared, send them on their way now. Okay. Do it. Do it. You are dead, no one can save you. Hearing this, Zigwashan Puffer Ghost, Kurish and Kushimaru and the other six people showed extremely violent looks, and they all waved their ninja swords from different directions and launched attacks. Eight inner gates, give me. Quote. Sensing all this. Might Dai took a deep breath without fear, and wanted to burst out completely and sway the blood of youth. Unfortunately, the next second Might Dai seemed to sense something, his body shook violently, and the sound stopped abruptly. To be more precise, even the seven people who were launching the attack, including Biwa Juzo, Zigwashan Pufferfish Ghost, and Kurishan Kushimaru, stopped their bodies forcibly, and even the ninja swords in their hands were still suspended in the air, with a look of uncertainty and disbelief on their cheeks. What's wrong? Why are their bodies frozen in place? What happened? This sudden scene made my guy, Shiranui Genma and Ebisu stare with wide eyes, revealing a look like seeing a ghost. Originally, they thought that a battle of life and death was about to begin, but they didn't expect that it was as if time had stopped, and the murderous ninja swordsmen of the seven people kept their attacking postures and their bodies froze in place. Look, there are cracks on the ground. Suddenly, Shiranui Genma pointed at the wrinkled ground and cried out. The towering trees around also have cracks. Ebisu also pointed at the towering trees around him and looked horrified. Might Guy didn't say anything, because when he looked up, he saw that the clouds in the sky had dispersed through the gaps between the lush branches. Not only that, there was a figure that seemed to be floating in the air with his arms folded. Buzz. Before the Might Guys could react, an overwhelming and irresistible terrifying pressure burst down from the sky, and crushed in all directions. Then, under the incredulous gazes of the seven ninja swordsmen, might die, might guy, Shiranui Genma, and Ebisu. This terrifying pressure did not pose a substantial threat to any of them. But it caused the ground, which was already cracked, to begin to crack inch by inch, and the towering trees began to fall down one by one, as if they were pushed by an overwhelming force. Finally, when this pressure disappeared, all kinds of green plants and towering trees within a kilometer fell to the ground. In the vast sea of forests, forming a hole without any plants. And in the air, there stood a ninja wearing a black tight combat suit with the Uchiha clan fan pattern, and red layered armor on the outside. There is no doubt that, this ninja who returned from Mount Kikio Uchiha Ryunin in Konoha village. Without the obstruction of branches and leaves, the seven ninja swordsmen and might die all looked up slightly and saw Uchiha Ryunin floating in the air on moonwalk. Might Day's tense body relaxed all of a sudden, and he could no longer hold back his excited tears. He was so lucky. He actually met Lord Uchiha. This time. He finally didn't have to fight for his life. Wow. It's, it's Lord Uchiha Ryunin. Yes, it's almost exactly the same as the photo in the brochure. After seeing Uchiha Ryunin, Might Guy, Shiranui Genma, and Ebisu were stunned for a moment, and then they couldn't hold back their tears anymore. Especially Might Guy, who cried so hard that his nose was running, and he was just a little bit away from losing his father. Now, don't worry at all. As the hero of Konoha village, Uchiha Ryunin Sama defeated the San Shinobi army alone. The seven ninja swordsmen should be able to defeat them easily. This, is this the Uchiha Ryunin who became famous for defeating the San Shinobi army at the Kikio mountain battlefield? That seemed to be aura just now. Isn't that right? Is Uchiha Ryunin's aura so terrifying? As for the seven members of the seven ninja swordsmen, Biwa Juzo, Zigwashan Pufferfish, Kurishai Kushimaru, etc., they were shocked and horrified, and more of them were incredible. What's going on? A simple aura. Fixed the bodies of the seven of them in place, and the earth was shaken and cracked, and all the towering trees within a kilometer fell to the ground. What kind of power is this? I'm afraid even the third Mizukage can't do it. Silently. The Super Conqueror's Hockey released by Uchiha Leonian disappeared without a trace. Between heaven and earth, the clouds were light and the wind was gentle. As if nothing had happened. But, judging from the expressions of Might Dai and the seven ninja swordsmen, it was proved that what had just happened was definitely not a dream. The orange entry Super Conqueror's Hockey, indeed, has some perverts, and the terrifying aura and pressure can already be used as a Shinra Tensai. 
In midair, Uchiha Leunian crossed his arms and looked down at everything in front of him, revealing a very satisfied look. Well, if you want to blame it, blame the seven ninja swordsmen for being too high profile, burning, killing and looting in the heart of the land of fire. It just so happened that Uchiha Leunian passed by. So sorry, I can only do a little to save might die. Swish. A sound of breaking through the air sounded. Uchiha Leunian's body turned into a residual shadow and appeared beside Might Die in the blink of an eye. What a fast speed. Quote, quote. The pupils of the seven ninja swordsmen who had already reacted shrank slightly when they saw this scene. Their hearts, which were already trembling, could not help but stir up another storm. There was no chakra fluctuation. Is this the speed that the flesh can reach? Invisibly. The hands of the seven ninja swordsmen, including Biwa Juzo, Zigwashin Pufferfish, and Kurishin Kushimaru, were all wet with sweat while holding the ninja swords. It seems, it seems that this time they have really hit a wall. All along, the seven ninja swordsmen were very confident in their own strength, and they were not taken seriously even after Uchiha Ryuan became famous in the ninja world. However, after seeing it with their own eyes, they realized that they still underestimated Uchiha Ryuan's strength. They were scared and retreated before the fight even started, and the resentment in their hearts had long disappeared without a trace. Uchiha. Lord Uchiha Ryuan. At this time, seeing Uchiha Ryuan again, Might Dai was so excited and nervous that he was a little incoherent and looked a little nervous. When Uchiha Ryuan applied for reinforcements to Mount Kikyo, he also wanted to go, but was rejected by the Third Hokage, saying that the Third World War had just begun and there would be opportunities to go to the battlefield later. Therefore, he could only practice the 15th style of the Six Ninja styles in seclusion, but he did not expect that Uchiha Ryuan, who went to the battlefield, would rise directly and become the new hero of Konoha village. It would be a lie to say that he was not envious, but, for him, it was more of happiness and admiration. Uchiha Ryunian Sama, Uchiha Ryunian Sama, Uchiha Ryunian Sama. Might Guy, Shiranui Genma and Ebisu secretly glanced at Uchiha Ryunian, and made timid sounds in order. Hem. Uchiha Ryunian nodded calmly, and glanced around naturally. As expected, the entries of the seven ninja swordsmen, Might Guy, Might Guy, Shiranui Genma and Ebisu appeared. Hem. Facing Uchiha Ryunian's gaze. The invisible pressure made the bodies of the seven people, including Biwa Juzo, Zigwashin Fugugi, and Kurishai Kushimaru, tense up, and subconsciously clench the ninja swords in their hands. However, what they saw was Uchiha Leunian looked disappointed. Their entries were nothing special. Biwa Juzo, Zigwashin Pufferfish and the other seven all had a common purple entry, the seven ninja swordsmen. Other entries were basically very common and nothing special. Might Die and Might Guy's entries were not as prominent as before. Ninja. Might Die. Age. 36 years old. Identity. Konoha Village's Taijutsu Janin. Attributes. Eight Inner Gates Orange Ninja Six Styles Grandmaster Purple Passionate Soul Blue Hardworking Blue Fatherly Love Blue Average Talent Green Etc. Eight Inner Gates Orange When fully exerted, it can exert power beyond cage level. Ninja Six Styles Grandmaster Purple, Six Physical Techniques That Exceed the Physical Limits of Human Beings, Including Shave, Iron Body, Paper Arts, Moonwalk, Tempest Kick, and Finger Pistol, Can All Be Mastered by Grandmaster. Passionate Soul Blue, Although he is a low-level ninja, he is a tough guy who insists on singing the praises of, youth, with his passionate soul. Fatherly Love Blue, For the sake of his children, he would sacrifice his life. Ninja. Might Guy. Age. 12 years old. Identity. Konoha Village Taijutsu Jenny. Attributes. Hot-blooded, orange, tenacious, purple, loyal, blue, eight inner gates, green, etc. Exclusive void concept god item. Head kick guy gold, one day in the future. If you kick your opponent's head after the explosion, you may be able to kick a big ending. Hot-blooded, orange, every word and every action exudes a breath of hot blood like a burning flame, which can not only infect yourself, but also those around you. Tenacious purple, with a steel-like will, you can carry out hard training day after day and year after year through continuous efforts and persistence. Loyal, blue, attach great importance to friendship and teacher-student relationship. Eight inner gates, green, initially learn eight inner gates, but the improvement of strength is limited. 
Hem. Looking at Might Guy's empty golden concept divine entry, Uchiha Leunian couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. As expected of the Guy King who almost kicked out the Hokage in the finale. If he had this golden entry, and then used the eight inner gates formation, he might really be able to kick Uchiha Madara's head. Unfortunately, now the plot is destined to change. In the future, Might Guy may not have the opportunity to fight Uchiha Madara. As for the change in Might's fate, it is also a normal thing. When his Ninja Six styles and Might's eight inner gates were exchanged, the gears of fate began to turn. The simplest example is that Might changed from 10,000 years Genin to Taijutsu Janin. No. Now the Ninja Six styles have become Grand Masters, which can be regarded as Taijutsu Elite Janin. Uchiha Liunian looked at the entry. Only a few seconds had passed. But, for the seven people of the seven ninja swordsmen, it seemed as if several hours had passed. They were arrogant and unruly. Even the orders of the third Mizukage were not taken seriously, but for the first time in history, they felt the pressure of Wukai. Uchiha Liunian, aren't you at the Kikyo Mountain battlefield? The next second, Bua Juzo suppressed his inner trembling, showed his sharp teeth, and said in a cold voice, Why are you here? That's right. After hearing this, Zigwashin Puffer Ghost seemed to have thought of something, and said in a deep voice, from the information collected by the Mist Ninja Anbu, the chief representative Serutobi Hirazan seems to have publicly ordered you and Orochimaru to stay on the battlefield of Kikyo Mountain. Ha ha. You're done, you're done. Uchiha Liunian, you actually disobeyed the order of the third Hokage. Originally, there was still some cold sweat on the forehead of Kurashai Kushimaru, Tongsao Yaito, Muri Shinpachi, Kurochu Raiga and others, whose eyes lit up, as if they had finally found a flaw, and hurriedly made an extremely excited voice, wanting to use this to boost their self-confidence. Ha ha. Uchiha Leonian's mouth slightly curved, and he said in a shocking tone, your presence in the heart of the land of fire also violates the third Mizukage's orders, doesn't it? Instantly. Kurishin Kushimaru, Tonkusa Yaito, Muri Shinpachi, Kurochu Raiga and others were stunned, with doubtful eyes flashing in their eyes. What's going on? How did Uchiha Leunian know that they also violated the third Mizukage's orders? Leaked. The third Mizukage didn't make it public, but the secret documents were leaked. Shit. Is there an enemy inside? How about we each take a step back and let this matter go? After a few seconds. Bua Juzo took a deep breath and said, we should pretend that we have never met each other, so that we can have an explanation to the third Hokage and the third Mizukage. Uchiha Leunian, we Kurigakur haven't yet met Konoha the watermelon mountain pufferfish ghost looked serious and threatened, if you kill us, the consequences will be very serious. The third Mizukage will definitely avenge us and go to war with Konoha village directly. Ha ha. You all came to the heart of the land of fire to burn kill and plunder, and you still want to let it go. Uchiha Leunian shrugged and said disapprovingly, kill you, if the third Mizukage wants to declare war, then declare war, who is afraid of who? K.R. Kuri Hai Kushimaru clenched his fists and said unwillingly, aren't you afraid of the third Hokage's district? Do you think I'm afraid? Uchiha Leunian looked at Kurisai Kushimaru with a deadly look, and said shockingly, now the news that I left Kikyo Mountain has already spread throughout the Konoha village, don't you know it yet? Ah. Biwa Juzo, Zigwashin Puffer Ghost, Kurisai Kushimaru and the other seven people were stunned for a moment, and then there was a burst of regret. If I had known, I would not have gone deep into the heart of the Land of Fire. Otherwise, I would have known that Uchiha Leunian had returned from Mount Kikyo. What should I do? What should I do now? Especially when I think of the slight move Uchiha Leunian made just now, his momentum alone shocked everything. Even the murderous, cold-blooded, arrogant and arrogant seven ninja swordsmen had cold sweat on their foreheads. Things were completely out of their control. To be more precise, Uchiha Leunian seemed to be an unscrupulous person. Judging from his tone of voice, he didn't even take the third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan, who was known as the strongest in history and a famous ninja hero in the ninja world, seriously. Gurgle. Listening to these conversations, Might Dai swallowed carefully, but didn't dare to say much. Although he didn't understand politics, he could tell from Uchiha Leunian's tone that he didn't admire or love the third Hokage. Can't think about it. Might Dai hurriedly shook his head. 
Youth is a hymn of passion, he only needs to rely on his passionate soul to insist on praising, youth. As for my guy, Shiranui Genma and Ebisu were a little confused and bewildered. They couldn't understand why the seven ninja swordsmen didn't listen to Mizukage, and Lord Uchiha Leonian didn't seem to listen to Hokage either. This is the highest leader of Karigakur and Konoha village. Might die, do you want to see the real power of eight inner gates? At this time, Uchiha Leonian didn't care so much, and said in a calm voice. Master Uchiha Leonian, what do you mean? Might Dai showed an unbelievable look, and hurriedly said, with your strength, you should not need to open the eight inner gates formation, right? Indeed, there is no need. Uchiha Leonian said with an unchanged expression, but I want to see if I can open the eight gates without any damage in my current physical condition. What? Might Dai exclaimed, Master Uchiha Leonian, youth is not an adventure, you must be cautious. Don't worry, I know my limits. Uchiha Leonian turned his eyes and looked at the seven ninja swordsmen, and said in a calm voice, Next, let you see what despair is. Uchiha Leonian, do you really think you can beat us? At worst, we will die together. You are indeed very strong, but, we are not vegetarians either. Biwa Juzo, Zigwashin Puffer Ghost and others from the seven ninja swordsmen gritted their teeth and made angry noises. They had never been looked down upon by anyone. Even clay figures have tempers. Does Shui Libo Lu Nianfei really have them? The fish will surely die, but the net will not break. Before he finished speaking, Uchiha Lu Nian opened the door with a thought. Buzz. Perhaps Uchiha Lu Nian's physical fitness was too perverted now. Even when he opened the first door, his aura surged. The rest gate opened. The life gate opened. The injury gate opened. Du gate open. Jing gate open. Boom. As the six gates opened in succession, Uchiha Leonian's chakra restrictions were lifted, and his aura became stronger and stronger, causing the entire area to tremble violently. 860 especially after Jing gate was opened, a black energy coat comparable to the chakra of the tailed beasts appeared on his body. Of course, if someone could see through it, they would find that after the sixth gate was fully opened, Uchiha Leonian's Super Chakra Haki and Super Conqueror's Haki in his body were rapidly improving his body's defense and recovery capabilities, and he was unharmed. My body can still bear it. Jing Gate Open. Buzz. Accompanied by a terrifying aura fluctuation, Uchiha Leonian's aura soared several times, and his body began to emit black and gold steam generated by the evaporation of sweat. Perhaps because of his too strong power, the air began to distort faintly. No. What the hell is he doing? Looking at Uchiha Leonian, whose body was covered in black and gold steam and whose breath was suffocating, Biwa Juzo, Zigwashin Pufferfish and others of the seven ninja swordsmen were completely dumbfounded. Too strong, really too strong. Why use a butcher knife to kill a chicken? Uchiha Leonian is too high of the seven ninja swordsmen, right? Is the seventh gate so strong? Wouldn't the eighth gate's space explode? No. It's because Uchiha Leonian is already very strong, his body's defense and recovery are perverted, and now that the restrictions have been lifted, it's so terrifying. Might Dai widened his eyes, his heart was already boiling with blood, but his mind was frantically analyzing. Finally, he came to a frustrating conclusion. If he opens the eight inner gates, his body can't bear it if the fifth gate is opened, and he is forced to open the seventh gate not only will it last for a short time, but the body will also be burned out. Wow! Might Guy, Shiranui Genma and Ebisu exclaimed subconsciously without blinking. Day Tiger! Sensing the terrifying ultimate power on his body. Uchiha Leonian clenched his fist and suddenly punched straight ahead. I have a punch that can blow up everything. This is the sound of air exploding. Then, an air cannon shaped like a tiger flew out and blasted towards Biwa Juzo and Zigwashin Puffer Ghost in front of him at a speed faster than lightning. Not good. There is no way to avoid it. Facing death, Biwa Juzo and Zigwashin Puffer Ghost's chakra surged all over their bodies, and they hurriedly blocked the beheading broadsword and broadsword Samahata in front of them. Then, under the shocked gaze of Might Die and others. At the moment of the bombardment, the beheading broadsword and broadsword Samahata twisted and shattered into countless pieces. Biwa Juzo and Zigwashin Pufferfish Ghost didn't even have time to react before they turned into ashes. At the same time, Zuhu still blasted out with his remaining power. 
causing the ground to suddenly crack open, and a huge fist mark crossed the entire field and spread all the way. Dead. With one strike. Biwa Juzo and Watermelon Mountain Puffer Ghost, who were one of the seven ninja swordsmen, were killed. And their beheading sword and Seigo Hata were smashed to pieces. Perhaps until their death. Biwa Juzo and Watermelon Mountain Puffer Ghost never thought that. The beheading sword and Samahata they were so proud of were like paper, and they would be so vulnerable. It was not that the Uchiha Leunian who opened the door of shock was too terrifying. They did not even have the chance to think about surrendering and died without a burial place. Of course, this scene was the most shocking to the remaining five seven ninja swordsmen. You know. Biwa Juzo holding the beheading sword and Watermelon Mountain Puffer Ghost holding the sword Samahata were the two strongest among the seven ninja swordsmen. With the cooperation of the sword, they were already cage-level ninjas. They stood in front. Just to give Uchiha Leunian a sense of oppression, so that the other four companions could attack better. Now, the sense of oppression was not given. But the first wave was ruthlessly killed. This kind of power, is too terrible, right? Looking at the gully that spread to the sky, the cold-blooded Kurishin Kushimaru felt his scalp tingling, and his right hand holding the long sword and sewing needle was trembling slightly. Ding dong. A crisp sound rang out. This was the sound of the blunt sword and the knife in the hand of Tuso Yaito, one of the seven ninja swordsmen, falling to the ground. He was frightened by the day tiger that Uchiha Leunian hit, and the bell sword and the knife in his hand accidentally fell to the ground. However, no one paid attention to Tuso Yaito who was scared and collapsed. Because, the other few people were almost the same. The loss of composure reached the ultimate. This is, what a joke. Murai Jinpachi was sweating profusely, his mind went blank, and his eardrums were buzzing. Kurosho Raiga and another companion looked dazed, opened their mouths, and wanted to say something, but felt that their throats seemed to be blocked, and it was difficult to make a sound. Only might die, might guy, Shiranui Genma, and Ebisu showed extremely excited expressions, looking at Uchiha Leunian, whose body was covered with black and gold steam, as if looking at some, God, really too strong, too pervert. He is indeed the hero of Konoha village. Guy, you see, this is the power of eight inner gates. The next second, Might Day's passionate soul surged uncontrollably again, raised his right hand and raised his thumb and said loudly, Youth is a hymn of passion, I will work harder to practice after I go back. Dad, I will also work hard. Might Guy also imitated Might Day's actions, raised his right hand and raised his thumb, showing a big white fang and said, I will definitely not let you down. Guy. Dad. Youth and passion. Might die and might guy looked at each other, and couldn't help hugging each other, crying for the passion of youth after surviving the disaster. However, at such a moment, no one cared about might die and might guy who were crying and hugging each other. Even Uchiha Leunian who opened the gate of shock. At this time, Uchiha Leunian felt the black and gold steam emitted from the body by the evaporation of sweat, and showed a helpless look. It was already the limit. Now his strength has increased several times. Unfortunately, even though he has excellent physical fitness and the blessing of two orange items, Super Chakra Hockey and Super Conqueror's Hockey, his body still cannot bear the burden. However, according to Uchiha Leunian's estimation, the power he can unleash when opening the seventh gate with his strength is comparable to or even exceeds the power of the might guy opening the eighth gate death gate in the original book. Forget it. There is no need to take the risk of opening the eighth gate death gate. The next second, Uchiha Leunian shook his head and looked at the remaining five members of the seven ninja swordsmen. Death. Just such an ordinary look. But it made the five people, including Kurish and Kushimaru, Tonkusa Yaito, Muri Shinpachi, and Kurochu Raiga, suddenly jump away like frightened rabbits with horrified faces. Then, the five people looked at each other, and they could see the determination in each other's eyes. There was no way out. Especially the death of Zigwashin Pufferfish Ghost and Biwa Juzo had dealt them a huge blow and shocked their minds. Now they had to flee when the disaster was imminent. That's right, the remaining five ninja swordsmen showed determination not to resist, but to escape. In order to increase the success rate, the five people also fled in five directions. Uchiha Leunian was amused by this. If they surrendered, he would not be bothered to do it and would just take them back to Konoha village. But they chose to escape. 
I'm sorry, I will accept your entries. I will leave you some debris. If you are impure world reincarnation in the future, come and send me warmth. That's right, he asked the system. After impure world reincarnation is destroyed, you can still plunder the entries. Of course, in order to avoid the bug of Uchiha Leunian, a person who is impure world reincarnation only has one chance. If he is impure world reincarnation for the second time, it will be no good. In this regard, Uchiha Leunian is already very satisfied. You can plunder the entries while you are alive, and you can also plunder the entries of impure world reincarnation. It is equivalent to being able to wool twice from a ninja, which is really a wonderful thing. So, under the dumbfounded gazes of Might Dai and others, Uchiha Leunian, who had opened the Jing Mun, let his opponent run for more than 20 seconds. And Uchiha Leunian, whose body was emitting black and gold steam, suddenly disappeared from the spot. Three seconds later, boom, 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 five consecutive deafening roars rang out. With a powerful force, this area shook five times in a row. And five extremely terrifying energy shock waves broke out, sweeping in all directions, raising dust all over the sky. Then, when Uchiha Leunian appeared in front of Might Die again, he had already withdrawn from the Jingmun state. And his face was slightly pale. Cough cough. Without any signs. Uchiha Leunian coughed a few times, and a trickle of blood flowed from the corner of his mouth. It was a bit pretentious. It took a long time to open the gate of shock. Fortunately, with his current recovery and vitality, especially with the blessing of the two orange entries, Super Armament Hockey and Super Conqueror's Hockey, it was just a trivial matter. He should be able to recover completely after a few hours of rest. System, plunder all the entries of the seven ninja swordsmen for me. The next second, Uchiha Leunian did not forget the main thing. Anyway, the seven ninja swordsmen were dead, and it would be a waste if he didn't plunder the entries. It would be better to add bricks and tiles to his entries. In an instant, the entries of Biwa Juzo, Zigwashin Puffer Ghost and others of the seven ninja swordsmen began to flow into Uchiha Leunian's body. No useful entries were selected. All entries, including the purple entries of the seven ninja swordsmen's bond, were crushed into entry experience. Perfect. Uchiha Leunian's face lit up. And he silently checked his latest attribute panel. Host. Uchiha Leunian. Age. 18 years old. Identity. Taijutsu Ninja of the Uchiha Clan. Entry Experience. 878,762. Note. White right pointing arrow, 1,000. Green right pointing arrow, 10,000. Blue right pointing arrow, 100,000. Purple right pointing arrow, 10,000. Orange right pointing arrow, 10 million. Gold right pointing arrow, minus 1, L. Attribute Entries. Book Thunder, Black, 8 Inner Gates, Gold. Upgraded Steel Balloon, Orange, Yin Dun Perfection, Orange. Super Chakra, Armament Hockey, Orange, Ninja 6 Styles Perfection, Orange. Super Conqueror's Hockey, Orange, Eternal Mangekio Sharingan, Orange, Advanced Observation Hockey, Purple, Fire Style Grandmaster, Purple, Wind Style Grandmaster, Purple, Magnet Style Gold Dust, Purple, Illusion Skilled Blue, Lightning Style Skilled Blue, Shadow Clone Skilled Blue, Body Flicker Technique Proficiency, Blue, Shuriken Proficiency, Blue, Water Style Proficiency, Blue, Earth Style Proficiency, Blue, etc. Quote dot quote. The seven ninja swordsmen have contributed nearly 700,000 experience points. Wait a minute. Eight inner gates has become a gold item. Yes. After a quick glance, Uchiha Leunian showed a surprised expression. However, when he thought of the terrifying strength he showed when he opened the Jingmun, it was normal. Because, eight inner gates has become a gold item. Which means that with his current strength, he can burst out the eight inner gates formation and exert the six paths level calendar area. This is already another level of power. So, eight inner gates has changed from orange to gold. Which is very reasonable. Mr. Uchiha Leunian, rich man, are you injured? Seeing Uchiha Leunian spitting blood from the corner of his mouth, Mike Dai reacted belatedly, showing a very anxious expression, and said worriedly, once the door is opened, it will cause great harm to the body. What should I do? Wait a minute. Uchiha Leunian Sama, one of the three, Tsunade Sama, is in a large commercial town a hundred kilometers away. Suddenly, as if he thought of something, Mike Dai hurriedly patted his head and said excitedly, 
When I was completing the last mission, I met Tsunade-sama in that large commercial town. She, she seemed to be gambling while looking for various doctors to treat her illness. Quote. Tsunade. After hearing this, Uchiha Leunian was stunned for a moment, and a sentence from the book appeared in his mind. My strength is obvious to all, and you know my methods best. I have a concept god term like book thunder, Tsunade seems to be able to be controlled at will. No. It can be used to treat Tsunade's hemophobia at will. More importantly, only by taking down Tsunade forcefully. The book thunder term can become a real concept god term, book thunder. Master Uchiha Leunian, don't disbelieve it. Master Tsunade is really looking for someone to treat his illness. Seeing that Uchiha Leunian was lost in thought, might die thought that Uchiha Leunian didn't believe it, and hurriedly added, I saw it with my own eyes. At this point, might die also muttered, I really can't understand, with Master Tsunade's medical skills that are famous in the ninja world, does he still need to find a doctor for treatment? However, might die didn't know that Tsunade is now in a semi-wasted state. After all, hemophobia is a very serious problem for a ninja who is famous for her medical ninjutsu. It seriously affects her ability and actions as a medical ninja. Therefore, when the Third World War broke out, it was normal for Tsunade, such a high-end combat force, to look for a way to treat hemophobia. Okay, I believe you. Uchiha Leunian smiled and waved his hand, saying, in this case, I will go to Tsunade to treat my body. Of course. Uchiha Leunian did not say another sentence. That is, his internal injuries will recover soon, and he will go to treat Tsunade's hemophobia, brand him with the mark of the book Thunder, and move towards another peak in life. M. Might Dai showed an excited expression. If Uchiha Leunian suffered serious internal injuries because of opening the eight inner gates to save him, he would feel guilty for the rest of his life. Now it is the wisest choice to go to Tsunade for treatment. In that case, I'll go first. Swish. A sound of breaking through the air was heard. Uchiha Leunian seemed to sense it, and was too lazy to care so much, so he flew in the direction pointed by Might Dai. That's right. The annihilation of the seven ninja swordsmen is bound to be a super event that will shake the ninja world. With your personality, you will be found out even if you lie, so. Konoha's high-level officials asked, Might Dai, you just need to tell the truth. I will postpone my return to Konoha village for a few days. A second later, Uchiha Leunian's voice came from a distance. I will definitely report truthfully. Might Dai took a look at the scene full of ravines, took a deep breath, and then said, Let's go, let's rush back to Konoha village. Quote. Okay. 480 inches. Might Guy, Shiranui Genma and Ebisu also understood the seriousness and urgency of the situation. Nodded hurriedly. And so, the four of them hurried towards the direction of Konoha village. After a long time, in a ravine, a white head emerged cautiously. When he saw that the area of several kilometers had been broken, this white Zetsu's clone couldn't help but show a trembling and horrified look. I didn't expect that. In order to deal with the seven ninja swordsmen, Uchiha Leunian actually used a big move directly. Opened the forbidden technique and killed the seven ninja swordsmen in seconds. He should have discovered me, but he didn't attack me. Quote. White Zetsu seemed to have thought of something, and his expression was changing. It was White Zetsu's clone who was responsible for monitoring the movements of the seven ninja swordsmen, but he did not expect to witness the scene of Uchiha Ryunin killing the seven ninja swordsmen. That's all. Collect some broken limbs. Return and report. Let Lord Uchiha Madara decide. Now Uchiha Ryunin seems to be injured. Also, the seven ninja swordsmen have been wiped out, and the layout of Karigakur needs to be changed again. That afternoon, Konoha Village, the Hokage building in the central area, the top floor, in a top-level conference room. At this time, 3rd Hokage Serutobi Hirazan, Shimura Danzo, Yudetane Kaharu, Mitokato Homura all gathered here, looking very serious and solemn. Uchiha Leunian is leaving the Kikio Mountain battlefield and is about to return. As Kona has high-ranking officials, they are all very uncomfortable. Some are even helpless. Because, Uchiha Leunian is now a hero of Konoha, and as Konoha's high-ranking officials, they are not ready to, welcome, this hero head-on. 
Seru Tobi, this Uchiha Leonian left the Kikio Mountain battlefield without permission, and did not take your order to heart at all. After an unknown amount of time, Shimura Danzo sneered on his gloomy face and said, I want to know what you think is a Hokage. Humph. After hearing this, 3rd Hokage Seru Tobi Hirazan took a puff of his pipe, snorted coldly, and said, how else can I see it? Of course, I see it with my eyes. After saying this, Seru Tobi Hirazan also exhaled a puff of white smoke and said, I asked you to come to the meeting to discuss countermeasures. Nothing to say. Quote. Yugitane Kaharu's wrinkled face showed a trace of dissatisfaction, saying, even though this Uchiha Leonian became a hero of Konoha, he has no gratitude at all, and he doesn't take our Konoha high-level officials seriously at all. Shame on him. Mitokado Homura took a deep breath and gritted his teeth and said, we can make him a hero of Konoha, or we can make him infamous like Hitaki White Fang, who was killed by the Pinkang Wuwu of Konoha village. 1. Enough. Ha. A sound of slapping the table sounded. After hearing the name of Hitaki White Fang, Serutobi Hirazan seemed to lose his composure, and his expression became more ugly and cold. In response, Shimura Danzo, Yudetane Kaharu, and Mitokado Homura looked at each other, and wisely did not say anything more. Because, Hitaki White Fang was set up by the three of them, and fell from the clouds to the bottom of the valley. In the end, the companion who was rescued turned around and blamed him, and killed him, causing Hitaki White Fang to completely collapse under the public opinion and inner pain. The only thing that was beyond their expectations was that Hitaki White Fang finally chose to commit suicide. But huh, Seru Tobi Hirazan, who did this, took a tacit attitude, and now he is pretending to be a white lotus. Which is indeed a bit of a double-faced. So. Under such circumstances, none of the four people, each with their own thoughts, said anything, making the atmosphere even more depressing. Bang. Suddenly, at this moment, there was a knock on the door, come in. Seru Tobi Hirazan adjusted his tone and said in a calm voice. Third Hokage, might has urgent information. An Anbu Janan pushed the door open, knelt on one knee and reported respectfully. Hem. After hearing this. Seru Tobi Hirazan, Shimura Danzo, Yudetane Kaharu, and Mitokado Homura all frowned unconsciously. After learning the secret technique developed by Uchiha Ryunin, the six styles of ninja, this 10,000 years Genin broke the restrictions of Genin, and in just two years, the world became Konoha's Taijutsu Janin. So, Konoha's high-level officials wanted Might Dai to quietly contribute the six styles of ninja. But they were slapped in the face. Might die, who clearly agreed with the will of fire. Said righteously that youth cannot be treacherous. Konoha's high-level officials can ask for anything else, but not the six styles of ninja. This made the Konoha high-level officials feel as if they had eaten shit. They couldn't argue with a fool, right? In the end, they returned empty-handed. It was even harder to investigate the matter of Might die using eight inner gates and Uchiha Leonian to exchange for ninja 6 BFB8 style. After all, forbidden technique 8 inner gates could be developed thanks to Might Die as a test subject. Let him in. The next second, Serutobi Hirazan's expression recovered a little, and he said in a calm voice. Yes. The Anbu Janan bowed his head and retreated. So, when Might Die hurried in, Serutobi Hirazan, Yudetane Kaharu, Mitokado Homura, Shimura Danzo all showed a kind look on their faces, showing the expression control ability of ten top politicians to the fullest. Might die, didn't you go to perform an A-level mission? Seru Tobi Hirazan put down his pipe and said amiably, did something happen to you? Third Hokage. Might die showed an extremely excited look and said loudly, youth is a hymn of blood, Karigakur's famous seven ninja swordsmen have been wiped out in the heart of the land of fire. Quote. What? The seven ninja swordsmen were wiped out. Might die, are you saying that the seven ninja swordsmen of Karigakur were wiped out? Before he finished speaking, Seru Tobi Hirazan, Yudetane Kaharu, Mitokado Homura, and Shimura Danzo could no longer remain calm, and all showed extremely surprised expressions. They must know about the seven ninja swordsmen. Not only are the seven people the elite of Mist Shinobi, but they are also equipped with a ninja sword that suits their own ninjutsu. When the seven people unite, even cage-level strongmen are at risk of death. Now, Might Dai said that all seven people are dead. How is it possible? 
Wait a minute. The heart of the land of fire. Could it be that Might Dai killed the seven ninja swordsmen? But, Might Dai seems to be uninjured, and there is no sign of sequelae from opening the eight inner gates. In an instant, Sarutobi Hirazan, Yudatane Kaharu, Mitokato Homura, Shimura Danzo fell into a state of doubt. However, Might Dai didn't care so much, a touch of excited tears appeared in his eyes, raised his right hand and gave a thumbs up and added, the seven ninja swordsmen invaded the heartland of the land of fire and were about to attack me, my guy, Shiranui Genma and Ebisu, when Uchiha Leunian appeared at the critical moment. The eight inner gates were opened, and the power of destruction broke out, almost killing the seven ninja swordsmen in an instant. That scene was so shocking. Konoha's hero, Lord Uchiha Ryunian is like a god, so powerful. Silence. Dead silence. Looking at the passionate soul bursting out, Might Dai showed admiration for Uchiha Ryunian. Sarutobi Hirazan, Yudatane Kaharu, Mitokato Homura, Shimura Danzo looked at each other, and they could see the gloating in each other's eyes. Might Dai actually met the returning Uchiha Ryunian. Good. The seven ninja swordsmen died. They had violent emotional fluctuations in their hearts. But, Uchiha Ryunian opened the seventh gate of the eight inner gates. But it made them feel happy, because once the last few gates of the eight inner gates were opened, life and death were almost unpredictable. Might Dai looked at the gloating look in the eyes of the Konoha high-level officials. But he was stunned, and the passionate soul in his heart was like being poured with a bucket of cold water. A Konoha hero like Uchiha Leunian opened the eight inner gates. As a Konoha high-level official, shouldn't he show anger, regret, horror, regret, etc.? Why did he show a gloating look? Might Dai couldn't figure it out, couldn't figure it out, and couldn't figure out why. In a trance, the Konoha village high-level officials. Why are they different from what he usually sees? If he had known this, he shouldn't have rushed back so anxiously. You know, after he brought Might Dai, Shiranui Genma and Ebisu to a safe area, he used the Grandmaster level moonwalk and rushed on at full speed. However, what Might Dai felt even more unfamiliar was that, as the leader of the route, Shimura Danzo, seemed to stop pretending and said excitedly. Might Dai, regardless of the annihilation of the seven ninja swordsmen, I want to know if Uchiha Ryunin is injured. Ah. Might Dai trembled, and then, he looked at Sarutobi Hirazan, but found that the usually amiable third Hokage, completely ignored his gaze at this time, and just smoked his pipe expressionlessly. In an instant, Might Dai felt that his faith seemed to be broken, and he began to doubt the so-called, will of fire. It is not that young people are the hope of the future, and the older generation should trust and protect them. The sacrifice of the older generation is not meaningless, but will inspire young people to become the pillars of the future, why is it completely wrong now? This will of fire is too difficult, it is really too difficult. This will of fire is too difficult. Really too difficult. He just wanted to be a tough guy who insisted on praising, youth, with his passionate soul. But now, he is a little confused, and he doesn't know what is the real will of fire and what is the fake will of fire. Because, in Might Day's imagination, after he passed this news back, the top leaders of Konoha should be excited and happy, and they should show worried and anxious expressions. But the reality is a slap in the face. As Konoha's new hero, Uchiha Leunian, who defeated the San Shinobi army in the Kikio Mountain battlefield, does not seem to be the favorite of Konoha's top leaders. Uncomfortable. For the first time in history, Might Dai felt tired and had a headache. It's all my fault. If it wasn't to show me the true power of the eight inner gates. With the strength of Lord Uchiha Leunian, there should be no need to open the eight inner gates to the Jingmun. On the other hand, Shimura Danzo, a high-ranking member of Konoha, could no longer suppress the excitement, agitation, and relief on his face. He did not expect that Uchiha Leunian would use the eight inner gates to deal with the seven ninja swordsmen, and even opened the second gate, which was the last one. This meant that while gaining great power, his body would definitely be seriously injured. In fact, the high-ranking members of Konoha all knew about the forbidden technique eight inner gates, but no one went to learn it. Because, unlike some other forbidden techniques, the eight inner gates required a very high level of physical strength, 
and required constant practice of physical skills and enduring pain that ordinary people could not bear before gradually learning the forbidden technique eight inner gates that could kill 1,000 enemies and injure 800 of one's own. Now, the evil Uchiha was not in his right mind after all. I don't know if Uchiha Leunian wanted to show off or was too confident in his body, but he actually opened the gate of shock. He he, he must have suffered internal injuries. Yugatane Kaharu and Mitokato Homura from the elders also couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. The annihilation of the seven ninja swordsmen was a happy thing. Uchiha Ryunin was also injured, which was a slight dampening of his spirit. This was undoubtedly a double blessing. As for the third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan, his expression remained unchanged on the surface, but his heart was still agitated. It was really like someone brought a pillow when he was sleepy. Uchiha Ryunin was injured, and there was no need for the Konoha high level to signal anything. The head of the Uchiha clan Uchiha Futian might not be able to help it. Thinking of this, the third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan still pretended to be unbelievable and said, you mean Uchiha Ryunin opened the door of shock, is he injured? Mike Dai showed a hesitant look, but suddenly remembered that the words left by Uchiha Ryunin when he left, let him tell the truth. Could it be that? Lord Uchiha Liunian had already thought of it. And considering the conversation between Lord Uchiha Liunian and the seven ninja swordsmen, Mike Dai vaguely guessed something. So, Mike Dai nodded with a gloomy look, and said helplessly, Third Hokage, Uchiha Liunian spit out a mouthful of blood and went to find Tsunade, one of the Sanin. What? Went to find Tsunade. The next second, before Serutobi Hirazan could speak, Shimura Danzo couldn't help but exclaimed, saying, doesn't he know that Tsunade is sick now? Humph. Serutobi Hirazan glared at Shimura Danzo fiercely, snorted coldly, then looked at Might Die, and said thoughtfully, okay, we know, you go down first. This time the seven ninja swordsmen were wiped out, and you have a credit. Quote. Okay, no more to say. Quote. Just as Might Dai was about to say something. Serutobi Hirazan interrupted him and added, Uchiha Ryuan is injured, and our Konoha village leaders are also worried. Now he goes to find Tsunade, it depends on his luck. Oh. Might Dai showed a helpless expression, lowered his head and turned away. It's uncomfortable. It's really uncomfortable. For the first time. In front of Konoha's high-level officials. He felt that his passionate soul was so powerless. Even a hero seemed to be just a political toy. Ha ha ha. Uchiha Ryuan has internal injuries. Tsunade has hemophobia, so it's impossible to treat him with all his strength. After Might Dai left, Shimura Danzo, Yudetane Kaharu, and Mitokato Homura no longer had to pretend, and showed their undisguised joy. Now they didn't have to think about how to welcome the hero of Konoha, Uchiha Ryuan. But just had to watch the show. An injured Uchiha Ryuan would definitely make someone want to take action. Among them, Shimura Donzo's eyes flickered a few times. If the Uchiha clan had an internal conflict and the two factions were fighting, the root might be able to add fuel to the fire. It just so happened that he was also very interested in Sharingan. This Uchiha Ryuan didn't give him face on the Kikyo mountain battlefield, which ruined his reputation. Now it's time to regain the power of Konoha Dark and re-establish the lost face. Serutobi Hirazan looked at Shimura Donzo's expression, and he obviously guessed something, but he didn't say much. There are some things that he, as a Hokage, is not suitable to say or do. But Danzo and Root can be the most direct and effective swords in his hands, and they can do all the dirty work. This time the seven ninja swordsmen were wiped out, Karigakur will definitely go berserk. The next second, third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan took the initiative to change the subject and said in a deep voice, We need to be prepared for a full-scale war with Karigakur, and we also need to prevent the Cloud Shinobi village and Iwagakur from launching an attack. That's right. Don't worry about Uchiha Leonian for now, we have to focus on the third war. Then why don't we take the initiative to publicize that Uchiha Leonian used the forbidden technique eight inner gates to wipe out the seven ninja swordsmen, and then enhance the confidence and cohesion of our Konoha village. It's also possible to mention Uchiha Leonian's injury a little bit, which sets off the tragic hero of Konoha. Quote. Soon, Serutobi Hirazan, Yudetane Kaharu, Mitokato Homura, and Shimura Danzo worked out an action plan one after another. 
with the flavor of trying to squeeze out the last bit of publicity value of Uchiha Reunion. The next day, the news that Uchiha Reunion had instantly wiped out the seven ninja swordsmen who had entered the heart of the Land of Fire spread throughout the ninja world at lightning speed under the publicity of Konoha's high-level officials. As soon as the news came out, the ninja world, which was already in a state of undercurrent, was once again in turmoil. If Uchiha Ryunyen had defeated the San Shinobi army on his own before and became a monster-level combat force comparable to the Third Rakage, then now that Uchiha Ryunyen had instantly killed the seven ninja swordsmen, it was enough to show that Uchiha Ryunyen's strength had surpassed the Third Rakage. Generation movie, caused the shock of countless ninjas in the whole ninja world. After all, the seven ninja swordsmen are well known in the whole ninja world. Even the third rakage cannot kill the seven ninja swordsmen instantly. For a time, whether it is the third Suchikage Onoki of Iwagakur, the third rakage of Cloud Shinobi Village, or the third Mizukage of Karigakur, they are all shocked. Isn't Uchiha Ryuan's strength a bit too terrifying? It has only been a short time, and he has grown to the point where he can kill the seven ninja swordsmen instantly. This is even more perverted than Hitaki White Fang back then, right? However, just when Iwagakur and Cloud Shinobi Village were about to issue an order that no matter what mission they were performing, as long as they encountered Uchiha Ryuan, they could, immediately abandon the mission and escape. Konoha Village released another message. That is, Uchiha Ryuan used the forbidden technique eight inner gates to kill the seven ninja swordsmen in seconds. Huh. When this news came out. The entire ninja world. Many ninjas breathed a sigh of relief subconsciously. Especially the ninjas from Iwagakur, Cloud Shinobi Village, and Karigakur, all of whom showed a look of wonder. No wonder he was able to kill the seven ninja swordsmen in seconds. It turned out that he used the forbidden technique. And some ninjas with a little more knowledge thought more. Uchiha Ryuan used the forbidden technique, which must have side effects, and he might have been injured. So, under such circumstances, the atmosphere of the Third Ninja World War became more and more depressing and awe-inspiring. A building covered by thick fog in the central area of Karigakur. Boom. Without any sign, a terrifying chakra wave swept out from the building. Perhaps it was too strong. It shook off the mist. The third Mizukage is angry. Sensing this breath. The civilians, ninjas, and merchants in Karigakur all looked surprised. But, when they thought of the news that the seven ninja swordsmen were wiped out in the land of fire, which had been spreading in the ninja world. They were relieved. The seven ninja swordsmen represented the high-end combat power of Karigakur. And now they were wiped out. I'm afraid any Mizukage would be angry. At this time, inside the Mizukage building. Didn't I ask them to be on guard at the border? Why did they go to the heart of the land of fire and get wiped out? Waste, a bunch of waste. Accompanied by a series of cold roars. The always polite third Mizukage showed an extremely angry look. The seven ninja swordsmen were wiped out, which was a disgrace to the whole ninja world, and directly put Karigakur into a passive state, and it was impossible to watch the fire from the other side of the river for the time being. To put it bluntly. The seven ninja swordsmen died, but they left such a mess behind. Third Mizukage was really a little furious. And the elders in the office, Yuenshi, Anbu's captain, Yugura, the head of the Hozumi clan, the head of the Yoruichi clan, and other high-level Karigakur officials all looked very ugly, and were secretly shocked by Uchiha Leonian's strength. None of the seven ninja swordsmen escaped. Uchiha Ryuan was really ruthless and left no room for mercy. The only good news. Perhaps, is that Uchiha Ryuan used the forbidden technique. As the name suggests, after using the forbidden technique, there is a price to pay. Uchiha Ryuan should be injured. This is the only good news left for everyone after the death of the seven ninja swordsmen. The seven ninja swordsmen were wiped out. Quickly select some elite mist ninjas to inherit this title. After a while, the third Mizukage took a deep breath, suppressed his anger, and ordered in a deep voice. Karigakur enters combat readiness, and the mist ninjas gather at the border. Yes. Understood. Arrange it immediately. Quote. The elder master, Anbu's captain Yagura, the head of the Hazuka clan and other high-level mist ninjas all nodded in no particular order. There is nothing to say. The destruction of the seven ninja swordsmen is a slap in Karigakur's face. 
Many people in the ninja world are probably laughing at Karigakar. So, no matter what, they must show their attitude. The mist ninjas gathered at the border to tell the ninja world how to do it. Kigakur, one of the five major ninja villages, also has its own pride and dignity. It will definitely go to war with Konoha village and find a place where the seven ninja swordsmen were destroyed. At the same time, in an unknown dark underground, Uchiha Madara was sitting there with a solemn face. Seemingly exhausted, there was a strange tube behind him. One end was inserted into the old body, and the other end was hidden in the depths of the darkness, connected to a huge golem that looked very strange and terrifying. Isn't this growth a little too fast? After a moment, Uchiha Leunian showed a puzzled look. According to White Zetsu's report, after using the forbidden technique eight inner gates, Uchiha Leunian already has power close to the six paths level, and may be comparable to the power of the first six paths level. It's terrifying to think about it. This is a bit unbelievable. All along, the proud and confident Uchiha Leunian didn't think that there would be geniuses like Senju Hashirama and him in the ninja world. He didn't take the third Reikage, the third Suchikage Onoki, and the strongest Hokage Serutobi Hiruzen in history seriously. He didn't expect that Uchiha Leunian of the Uchiha clan would rise in an invincible manner. The only good news may be that Uchiha Leunian seems to be injured after using the forbidden technique. Now it depends on whether, some people, can see such a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Uchiha Leunian, I don't understand you more and more. Quote. After a long while, Uchiha Madara's old face showed a trace of caution. Something is wrong. There must be something wrong here. Uchiha Leunian must have a backup plan. Otherwise he would not have rashly used the forbidden technique to injure himself and weaken his combat effectiveness. However, perhaps Uchiha Madara would not have thought that. Uchiha Leunian had no backup plan, he was just a bold man with great skills. With the blessing of upgraded steel balloon, super armament hockey, super conquerors hockey, and the entry of the book Thunder. Uchiha Leunian's body is not so easy to be injured now. It has been healed for a long time. Interesting. Uchiha Madara seemed to realize something, and ordered lightly, pay close attention to Konoha village, something big must have happened in the near future. Quote. Understood. After hearing this, White Zetsu, who had been silent all this time, nodded, and disappeared into the ground. Looks like I'm going to have my last dance. After White Zetsu left, Uchiha Madara closed his eyes. Buzz. Accompanied by several streams of energy. Five more tubes appeared behind Uchiha Madara, sinking into the darkness and connecting to the ghetto statue. In this era, there is no need for such a powerful pervert as Uchiha Leonian. If you can't be a pawn, you must be punished. Thanks for watching.